At about 6 p.m. last night, Sturt Patrols attended an address in Sampson Road, Mitchell Park, in relation to an unrelated inquiry. While they were there, a male person got into a van and left the scene. When they got onto Marion Road, they encountered heavy traffic. A police officer on Marion Road has seen the vehicle and got out of his car and attempted to stop the van. And that police officer was subsequently hit by the van, who allegedly deliberately aimed the vehicle at them and then took off in a southerly direction on Marion Road. Thankfully, the officer's injuries are not life-threatening. He was taken to Flinders Medical Centre. Um, he had a laceration to the back of his head and was suffering concussion. He has been discharged and he is in the care of his family at home. Police are seeking the male person who was driving the van and are actively looking for him. We would ask anyone who has information in relation to the male or the male himself to hand himself into the nearest police station or to make contact with police via Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. Thank you. Any questions? Did you explain how he was hit by the van? Was it from the side? Was he approaching from the window? He had indicated from the front of the van for the van to stop and as he got closer the van has deliberately hit him from the front as far as I'm aware. Is he kind of leaning into the window by that point or still like did the van come to a stop and then he approached the window to speak to the driver or did the van just never slow down and just kept going? From the information that I've got, and as you could appreciate, we haven't been able to speak to the officer completely about what happened. Uh, the van didn't come to a stop and he was it was in his actions of trying to stop it that it's kept going through him and has caused him to be knocked to the ground. Do you know who, who you're looking for? Do you know, was he the owner of the van? Police do know the identity of the man um, that, that uh, we're looking for. Uh, he was the registered owner. What would you say to him? What's your appeal? We're appealing to him to make contact with police, whether or not he does that uh, through going into a police station and telling them who he is, or making contact with police via Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. We want to speak to him. Um, it's vital that he comes and, and hands himself in to us now. Can you ever reveal his identity now or any details about him? No, I'm not prepared to release that. Yeah, how serious an offence is this actually, you know, allegedly, deliberately hitting a police officer in his cause of duty? It's a very serious offence. Um, we've got a lot of police officers at the moment who are actively seeking this man. We take these sorts of offences where police are targeted very seriously um, and we once once he's located, he will be charged with acts to endanger life, which is a serious offence. So it's in his best interest to come forward now? Isn't Absolutely. Yeah. Would you say that to him? Absolutely. It is in his best interest to come forward now, um, to hand himself in, to make contact with the police. We want to speak to him about what happened, and it's in his best interest to do that. Do you have a reveal why he would have fled that original Samson Road address when he saw officers at an unrelated job? Until we speak to him, we, we don't know exactly what his motives were or why he behaved the way that he did. We'd be keen to find to find out and we'll only be able to do that by speaking to him. Is he known to police? Or does he have outstanding warrants or anything like that? He is known to police, but I'm, I'm not prepared to comment on whether or not he has uh, any warrants. Um, in terms of the police officer, we're able to know anything about the embassy's age or um, anything that's good to kind of humanise him as an, as an officer in terms of him, you know... Absolutely. Brave thing. Is he a, a, his age or is he a dad or anything like that? Uh, he has family. Um, I, I don't actually have the details on his age specifically. Um, he works in our road policing area um, and, yeah, he's, from all accounts, I haven't spoken to him personally, but other officers have told me that he is in good spirits um, and, thankfully, his injuries aren't serious um, in the sense that he's still in hospital. He was able to go home to his family last night. Do you know how his family have taken the news? Understandably, they were shocked, as was he, um, at the behaviour of the suspect on the night. 
Um, and I think we will use um, our SAPOL resources. We have an employee assistance section um, and they have already made contact with him and the other officers who responded on the night, as you can appreciate. Um, responding to a police officer who's been hit by a car is serious and affects everybody, um, but they're all doing well and are just hopeful for a really good resolution. Would he be able to come to work soon? Yes. Do you think it's likely he wasn't very seriously injured or even killed? Absolutely. You know, uh, anything that happens on our roads is, is dangerous. We know that. We know that through things like the road toll and, and those sorts of things. So where we take any... Um, incident that happens on the road seriously, particularly a pedestrian, someone who is, is out of their vehicle and on the road is more vulnerable than they would be if they were, were in a vehicle. Um, and anyone who sees a police officer in uniform attempting to stop the vehicle and doesn't pull over and actively, allegedly tries to hit that police officer, um, we take that very seriously. Could you explain the penalty? Is it like a fine or jail time or what would it be? It's a major indictable offence, so it's punishable by 18 years imprisonment, so it's a very serious offence.